What is up guys? Hope you had a great weekend. It's Sunday and today we're gonna ride the Ruckus for the first time. Well, I am. Y'all are gonna come along. <laughs> I'm picking up Ryan right now. If you missed yesterday's video, Ryan from the Ruck Shop uh, came into town and he's finishing up the build with me. And today we're gonna put the Ruckus through his paces. Good morning, sir. You need a lift? Yeah, uh, this this your Uber? I believe my app said that you're Ryan. Correct. So here is what I did last night and uh, yesterday, what we did. The only thing that you can see that we did, I did, <laughs> but we fixed the brakes. If you watched a video like last week, brakes were a huge issue for me. I was having trouble bleeding the front brakes. Uh, it was kind of leaking at the caliper and then the rear brakes, the, uh, the lever was not going fully back out and it wasn't grabbing how it should. We fixed both of those yesterday. This is Ryan, by the way, from the Ruck Shop. He came out to uh, help me with the build. Ruck Shop is providing a lot of the parts that you see on here, um, so it's really cool to have him out here. We fixed those brakes, and then I put on the new seat that I got in yesterday. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> I think it looks really good, especially now that it's actually on there. If you didn't see, I know I keep saying this, but if you didn't see the Cafe Racer, um, styling that I'm going for. I'll pop a picture up on the screen right now, but that's the look that I'm going for, and I think it's coming together really, really well. But we're gonna ride this thing. It is, uh, aside from the tail light, it is a completely built ruckus. So we're gonna take care of a couple things, make sure the bolts are tight and things like that, put a little bit more gas in, and then we're gonna take it out for the first ride. So one of the things that we did yesterday, I said fix the brakes. So what we did for the rear brake was actually swap in the stock cable. Unfortunately, it seems like it may be just barely too short. It fits in everything, everything runs fine, except the handlebars can't turn full lock to one side because it's too short. So what we're trying here is to do a little bit of a minor reroute. Instead of going in front of the battery box with the brake cable, this one right here, what we're gonna do is try to run it up along the frame into the battery box. We've swapped it around. We we're just able to kind of disassemble a lever because we still have that tension on the rear so that made it a little bit difficult but um, took off the lever and that way could get the cable out. But now you see that we have the brake cable running on the inside. Oh yeah, it goes to full lock now. That's even better than yesterday. Pro tip, and I actually thought about this because when I was a kid I used to play with Rubik's Cubes a lot. And what we would do is spray on the inside of the Rubik's Cube so you could turn it faster. Yeah. So I got, um, I have some silicone spray right here liquid wrench. It makes it a lot easier to, uh, for surfaces to kind of rub against each other. And, and so I sprayed a little on the inside of the handlebar, or not the handlebar, the brake lever. Look at this, like a snapback. That is exactly how it should be. That is awesome. So right now your battery's got, it's about 12.4. And once we start it up, So we just put the license plate uh, mount on here on the rear. I actually don't have the license plate yet. I started the build almost immediately after buying the Ruckus and I just forgot to pick up a license plate from the dealership, so I, I had to go do that. But we got the mount on there and then we prepped the tail light on the rear seat. As you can see, it mounts very nicely there on the back. We cut the wire short, uh, so I told you guys that, that the, the wiring for the tail light is really long, um, so you can shorten that. We'll get these plugged up and the uh, wires on the seat plugged up as well, so that when we get back here, all we have to do is stick the rear uh, battery of the battery box on, put the seat on and plug in the tail light and get the ruckus out on the road. I know you guys are waiting for that. <laughs> We're gonna do it, but first, 
We need to go have some lunch. All right, so we got the torches. We got some Texas queso. And Ryan has to try some. All right, tacos came. So I got my staples. I got the uh, fried avocado. No, fried avocado, and then the independent. And uh, my man Ryan over here, he got the trailer parks. We've got two of them, which is what Fry usually gets. Fry gets the hillbilly version, but uh, <laughs> Ryan went, to, went with the staple, the standard. <laughs> trailer park with a mix of Mandela. <laughs> Can we give it a little taste? Savor it a little bit. Alrighty, round two, bring it on. This is it. There you go, guys. We're back, and we're gonna finish up those last few things that I told you about: the seat with the tail light and the battery box. And then we're gonna get this thing on the road. I want you guys to place your bets. Leave a comment with how fast you think the ruckus will go. I'm gonna say 54. I have no idea, I have no idea. I literally have a zero idea, but I'm gonna guess 54. That's without the new carb, without the big bore kit, just the straight GY6. I was gonna say 55, so You were gonna say 55? Okay, Ryan, Ryan knows what he's talking about, so he said, he said 55, so I guess I might be close. Tell me, baby, is it cool to touch? Tell me, man, that you can trust, not just a fool to lust. Coming to get you on the bus is so ironic. Exotic on the verge of erotic. I'm hitting switches on misses like I've been fixed with hydraulics. My up and down like a roller coaster. Can I come inside you? I ain't stopping till the show is over. Cause I'm a rider in and out just like a robbery. I'll probably be a freak and let you get on top of me. Hit the rockin' knees, nights full of LSA. A living legend, you ain't heard about them players living Cali days. Dolores Tuck and you with faith in me. Instead of trying to help a brother, wanna take his cheese. Right. Here. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, first try. It's living hell, and we a few of us a little tail. Now everybody talking about us, I ain't giving up the very one that taught us all. Tell me how you won't. Tell me how you won't. So we just put the battery backs on. Had a little bit of an issue because of the the paint, the coating on the paint, I guess, is a little bit too thick. So the uh, dress up screws uh, that the ruck shop has weren't long enough to be able to get into the threads and the inside clips for the battery box. Just use the uh, the stock ones temporarily. They still look decent, um, but I'll probably replace them with longer screws once I get those. Finally, I'm gonna ride this thing. Hey, paranoid, I didn't worry. One of us gonna see the cemetery. Hey, one day my lifestyle's changed. And then I threw it all the pain. Survived and in this game, it's still the same. I need to speak me at the strip club, bring a thong. In the sunlight, oh man, that looks good. I mounted up the, the ram mount. I moved it from my CRF over here, because of course we don't have a speedometer. So I moved it onto the ruckus so that we can get a little uh, top speed test here. Safety first, in my shorts. I know some people were commenting on uh, the video that went up yesterday that they didn't think the seat went with it. Um, I know a lot of people want me to do an LED bar. The reason that I didn't do that stuff, I didn't do like a black seat and an LED bar is because I was really going for that retro look. Um, if I was doing like a more modern, modern uh, look ruckus and oh yeah, black seat, LED bar, but I really wanted it to look like it was retro, so that's what I went with. <laughs> Dude, I'm nervous. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna take a lot of getting used to. Oh man, this feels weird. I should go chase that guy down. Go, go. All right. No, my speed isn't working. My speedometer isn't working. What the heck? Oh, there we go. Okay, 30 miles an hour. Dude, this thing vibrates like crazy. <laughs> 
All right, let me get out on the open road. <laughs> oh, crap, guys. <laughs> okay, you gotta remember the, the previous ones topped out at 40 miles an hour. What up, dude? You may have a fatter wheel than mine, but my cheeks smell fat. <laughs> uh, okay, you're gonna have to deal with the fact that this speedometer is sideways. Well, Moenasi is out enjoying his GY6 swap. I figured it's time for me to uh, introduce you to the real Burnout Bobby. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing sounds amazing. <gasps> gonna hit there's 30 there's 38 40 I like ponies 44 kit cats 47 sometimes i play marbles for fun 48 and on occasional time i like hopscotch 50 50 baby <laughs> okay we have to hit we have to hit 54 we get on this straight let's see what we hit let's do this come on 54 baby 54 53, 54, 55 baby, 56, 56, 57, yes, yes bro, yes, holy crap, <laughs> oh this is amazing, this is amazing, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> Yo, guys, this is sick. All right, let's try again. Oh, this is 58. Did I say 58? Yo, I can actually cruise on roads without worrying about someone hitting me. Oh, dude, this feels so freaking sick. This is, oh my god. Okay, careful around the turns. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes. Oh, I'm so freaking stoked, man. And this is, the, oh, we haven't even done the new carb. We haven't done the big bore kit. This thing is gonna freaking blaze. It's freaking sick. People are gonna flip when they see this thing on the road. Oh my god. That was a cop car. Probably shouldn't be going this fast. I have to worry. I actually have to worry about cops now on the ruckus. <laughs> How about that exhaust, though? Holy crap! That thing sounds so good. <laughs> oh yeah, boy! Can I do a U-turn? Oh, this is tough. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> All right, let's head back. <laughs> Wait, without looking. <laughs> what do you think it was? <laughs> Here, look at it. Look at it. Fifty-eight. <laughs> Fifty-eight. I heard. I heard you like all the way down there. <laughs> Dude, that exhaust sounds so good. All right, let's make it faster. <laughs> oh, dude, freaking give the video a thumbs up for that freaking first ride. We need, we need to get Chase on two wheels to do a first ride on this thing. He, he hasn't done something like that before. But we're gonna get the, uh, the new carb swapped on and then it's probably gonna be dark by then, but we're gonna get the new carb swapped on and do another, uh, another first ride with that thing. I was raised as a youth Till you forgot the scoop on how to get a bulletproof Sex busting off the poop But when I was a teenager Mobile phones got paid to game rules I'm living major My adversaries is getting blurry They paranoid of getting blurry One of us gon' see the cemetery Hey, one day if my lifestyle's changed And then I do it all the pain Survived and in this game It's still the same I need to speak me at the strip club Bring a thong Look how they shaking for that cash Once again it's on I had no sympathy for those afraid of mystery Come get with me I promise passion and ecstasy I'm alone can I come over Better tonight Depend on me the one to handle it and get it right Your body is banging baby I love the way you're flown It's time to give it to daddy Sugar now tell me how you want it Tell me how you want it all right, so the new carb is ready, and uh, it's time for your favorite moment. Remember, if you've got kids in the room watching, cover their eyes. Oh no, 
It's already happening. All right, we got air filter on. Gonna roll it out, get the get the ruckus started up. Just, what are we adjusting? The idle? Idle and air fuel. Probably the air, yeah, air fuel mixture. Once we get that stuff dialed in a little bit, riding again. So we ran into problems. Don't freak out, everything's okay. The ruckus is intact, it's right there, I promise. But <laughs> Ryan took the uh, took the ruckus up and down the street. He just wanted to get a feel for it and see if there was uh, any more adjustments that he needed to make. And when he did, the drive face nut came loose and the drive face flew off. So that is uh, this piece right here. And I had hit it with the impact gun when I put on this nut, um, but I guess I just didn't get it on enough. I think it's because I don't have a dedicated impact socket. Probably tomorrow morning we're gonna hit up Home Depot, pick up an impact socket so that I can tighten that down as tight as possible. The other thing is that we wanna make sure that it's the Loctite that we put on there has plenty of time to dry. Put it on as much as we could just with the gun and we're gonna let this dry overnight. We're gonna bleed the brakes a little bit. So I noticed when I was riding it that the, uh, the front brake was a little bit mushy, um, so we're just gonna bleed it and maybe see if uh, we can get any more feel out of it. It was working fine. The brakes, the brakes were strong and all of that. It was, it was just the feel that it was a little bit, a little bit soft. We'll get to work, finish up this stuff. We'll have to run a lot of errands in the morning, but everything should work out. We're still gonna get a ride in tomorrow, and y'all are gonna get to see it after the big bore. So we actually have like really bad problems now. We just opened up the box for the big bore kit and it is broken. You can see here, completely chipped off piece right here. That that sucks, because that was like the whole plan for tomorrow. All right, so yeah, I got, I'm gonna have to get that replaced. My dog also wants inside. Sierra, do you want inside? All right, run away, run away. I wanna talk to you. Little drama queen. So we gotta figure out something else that we can, uh, we can do nitrous nitrous turbo kits and nitrous <laughs> all you guys want me to do a turbo kit so we're gonna find a way to slap a monster turbo on the ruckus tomorrow so we think we're gonna go we're just gonna use this one um, but we've kind of fixed it up uh, we found these um, kind of special uh, metal bonding agents they're kind of just like uh, pads so you can pick them up at like AutoZone or something like that um, I think the band the the brand is uh, bond eyed. If you want to, if you want to get it yourself, but French. like, if if you get a if you get a big bore kit that just has like way too much power when it comes in and it's just like already bursting, bursting at the seams and stuff like that, you can just pick up a couple of these and it'll it'll kind of make it as good as new. You don't have to worry about it rattling any. That just means that there's there's more power. So yeah, so that should be good. Uh, and we'll just get that installed how it is. I'm just kidding. We're not using. I mean, we're we're, we're just gonna leave this piece off. It's just we are we are gonna use that big board kit, but we're, we're not gonna try to paste this piece on. Band aid is still. <laughs> he said that it's not gonna cause any problems. It doesn't affect the cooling. Um, just like that little piece, it doesn't affect the performance of it. It should be completely fine. It's just for my own like mentality, sanity, that I want something that's perfect and not damaged. But because we're gonna try to get this thing running and uh, good to go, we're gonna install it as is, as is, and hopefully I can pick up uh, an undamaged unit uh, sometime soon and get it swapped in. Enjoy your pizza. Thank you. And your water. Big board tomorrow. Big board. <laughs> see you, man. I see you. Got myself some uh, Marco's pizza. Gonna enjoy myself by, with my by myself while I eat my pizza with myself and uh, edit this video. <laughs> I know you guys probably can't see me at all. I'll just finish this when I get back to the house. Yo, that pizza was bomb.
But yeah, today, today was awesome, guys. It was so exciting to finally get to ride that thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Oh, and one more thing that I wanna tell you guys. Y'all have helped me pick the name for this ruckus. In the last video I had, I had you guys um, leave a bunch of comments giving me the name that you thought that I should name the ruckus because I, I didn't have a name yet. Um, I picked a name and her name is Rachel. You guys may not know this, but I named my bikes after females from TV shows. Me and my wife are huge Friends fans. Of course, Rachel is one of the characters from Friends, so it like, fit perfectly. I gotta give huge thanks to Ryan from the Ruck Shop. Holy crap, I would not have been able to do a lot of this stuff without him. Like, I've never owned a bike with a carb. The Ruckus is the first bike that I've ever had that has a carb, so I'm completely new to that territory. So it was really cool to kind of learn that stuff from him. Also, I did want to let you know that I'm gonna be doing a live stream on Instagram, Instagram Live uh, with Ryan. And just any questions that you guys have for us, we're gonna be doing a live Instagram stream. So make sure you're following me, uh, instagram.com slash Motonocity, or just go open your Instagram app and it's at Motonocity. I don't have a set time yet. I'll probably post a comment on this video and pin it. I hope you'll have an awesome rest of your day. Hope you had an awesome weekend. And I will see you guys tomorrow to get another ride on the Ruckus. Peace.